Hello everybody, Chris Profi, Musically Obsessed. It is contest time. I'm announcing my contest. It's called Nifty 650 Contest. It's to celebrate 650 subscribers. So thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you to all my subscribers who keep watching my channel. I appreciate it so much. I know that there's a lot of contests right now in the VC, but you know what? I'm going to throw my contest in the... Uh, in the ring here as well. So, winner will receive a $30 Amazon gift card to spend however you would like, hopefully um, on some sort of physical media. Now, I have six questions for my Nifty 650 contest. And uh, the questions will be down below, so you can look at those. I'm gonna go through each question right now and, and show you my answers. And then, um, Pretty much the rules are, as all of our contests, I'd really like you to be a subscriber to my channel, if you are not already. Uh, I'd like you to make a video for uh, the contest, and I'd also like you to tell me below that you made a video so I can go and check it out. Um, so here we go. The Nifty 650 Contest. First question. First and last album in your collection, depending on how you organize them, because I know everybody kind of organizes them a little differently. Well, the first album in my collection is A Flock of Seagulls, self-titled album. And the last album in my collection, and this is because I have my Christmas albums towards the end of my collection, is a Ray Conniff Christmas album. I haven't even listened to this one yet, so I'm looking forward to who, uh, this, you know, probably start around late November spinning this, okay? Uh, question number two, because blue is my favorite color, I want you guys to show me an album cover that has mostly blue in the cover. And uh, I'm going with The Doors, absolutely live. A lot of blue in that cover. And uh, this is, uh, of course, on the red Electra label. Question number three: <laughs> Led Zeppelin or Deep Purple? Oh man, this is a this is a tough one. I love both bands. Um, hmm, this is tough. I'm gonna say Deep Purple. For a couple reasons, I tend to listen to Deep Purple more than I do Led Zeppelin. I also love the fact that Deep Purple is still making new music. Um, you know, I just uh, received their new album uh, as um, contest winnings that I'm going to be showing uh, probably in, in a video or so coming up. But Deep Purple still making great music. So, I mean, they're great bands, but I'd probably have to, I'd probably lean more towards Deep Purple. Okay. Question four, show us your speakers. I just, this one was like, you know what, let's just, we always talk about the turntables and showing records and stuff. We never talk about speakers. Well, there's my speaker on that side and there's my speaker on the other side. They are edifier speakers. Tiny desktop, not tiny, but they're small desktop speakers. Um, as you can see by, um, you know, the size compared to, uh, you know, my tape deck and my CD player, but they offer awesome sound and I didn't want anything too big for my apartment didn't want to piss off the neighbors and uh, plus I just don't have the space so these um, edifier desktop speakers were perfect um, I definitely recommend them to anybody who's looking to uh, maybe upgrade speakers that they have um, um, and they're not too bad price wise either question five tell me two albums on your want list I know we all probably have a want list out there one of my albums is Ace Frehley's solo album, but I want a 70s pressing of that with uh, the poster and the uh, inner sleeve and the order form inside of it, because I've already got the other three. I need Ace, though. And I want Michael Nesmith's and the hits just keep on coming. So those are two albums on my want list, amongst others. And the last question, question six. Show a lesser known album by a well-known artist. Okay, well... Donovan is a well-known artist, but a lot of people don't know about this album. This is Love Is Only Feeling. This is a UK pressing 1981 album by Donovan on uh, Interfusion Records. And 
you know, not a lot of people know about this album, even Donovan fans, but this is, uh, you know, classic Donovan. Love the song Lover Oh Lover. I love the actor Half Moon Bay and the Hills of Tuscany are both beautiful, beautiful songs. So if you like Donovan and you've never checked out Love Is Only Feeling, see if you can grab a copy of that. So that is my contest. Six, what, I, I mean, I figure they're pretty easy questions. Um, hopefully we can get some people to jump on this. Like I said, winner will receive a $30 gift card to Amazon. Please make sure you're a subscriber. Please make sure you upload a video and please let me know down below that you have uploaded a video. Looking forward to everybody's contributions to my nifty 650 contest. All right, guys. Bye.